into their way of thinking and they don't want to make a budge. And that's the worst part. You know, I remember the, the days of, uh, of uh, Eisenhower and the Speaker of the House. I mean, they were buds. They, they were gentlemen. They were gentlemen. O'Neill and, and Eisenhower knew how to work together and enact laws that would benefit the American people and not any particular party. Their aim was to serve America. And I, I quite frankly, I, I believe sincerely with all my heart that that this that this kind of civil unrest um, is is dangerous to the American to, to the American way of thinking to, to mental health. How can how can how can one be healthy if you can't go to bed at night without thinking what your neighbor is doing or who's going to People pay attention to people pay attention to foolishness. I, I mean, fake news and fake uh, fake news and, and made up stories just to uh, just to incite. And people are having fun with that evil. I mean, it's it's for sure. It's for sure. Uh, evidence that there's evil in this world. Well, it's always because been that evil way in a way. Evil is divisive. But the media now has, has blown everything way out of proportion. Uh, well, the media is having fun. A retired soldier, Tom Schaffer, brought this to our house the other day. I can't tell you how thrilled I was to get the American flag. And this flag was thrown, was flown over the Capitol uh, for, let's say, a, a certain amount of time. And he, he presented it to me. And I can't tell you how thrilled, it, uh, and we're going to have, have it placed outside because I want people to know that this household loves America and we stand by all that our soldiers, men and women, what they sacrificed to make America as it is today. Well, what, what we want it to be today. It's not, it's not that. Even the haters say they love America. I mean, they, they hate in the name of loving America. I don't understand. Is there anything besides prayer? Is there anything? Is there? And I'm and once again. I am inviting. I am inviting the listening and viewing audience to offer their opinions as to why we are. And I, and I don't want to blame Trump, but I don't want to blame Pelosi, and I don't want to blame Schumer. And I, it, these are, it, it doesn't come down to names. It comes down to the division, why we are so divided. And, and if, somebody could, if somebody could just offer a solution, not, there's not going to be one solution. But where does it, does it stem from the 60s? Does it stem from the, the, easy, the easy laws getting around this civil disobedience? Um, I don't know. All I do know is that, that the, the psychiatrists and the psychologists are very, very wise to tell people with anxiety not to be watching, not to be watching the news because there's nothing they can do to change. Uh, to change what's going on, and, and you, you go to bed with you 
go to bed with a lump in your chest. My, all my brothers served in the military. And I had an uncle who was a prisoner of war in Guam. And I remember when we had discussions at home, I never remembered what we now hear. I mean, you're even told at Thanksgiving, don't bring up that politics. Stay away from politics. We can't even disagree without it being, you know, a raucous debate. Uh, there is, my understanding is that there's a lack of spirituality in North America. America has lost its soul. We have conquered the universe. We've gone to the moon. Mars, elsewhere, but we have returned to the caves of barbarism, either verbal or what we see going on throughout the world today. It is, but we've lost, there's no sense of godness, no sense that I'll be accountable to God for my actions. Yeah, accountability is a, a, accountability is a big thing. I mean, nobody is accountable for what they say. People just, people say the most outrageous things and nobody pays for it. Nobody censors them. Nobody, nobody says, uh, you've gone too far, you've crossed a line, you've, it's just everything goes, and I can't remember a time when things were like that. I, I mean, how did we slip into this? Did it, it, it gradually creeped up on us to where anything goes? Hmm. Well, if anyone has any doubt that there's a, there's a, a devil, that there's evil, it certainly has manifested itself in America's uh, conversations. And it's sad because, it's just sad uh, how we got to this point in the, our, our, at this juncture of human history. So please listeners, if you have any ideas as to how we got there. And how can we get share, out of it? Share, share, no, how do we get there? How, where did it start? And how can we get out of it? Do you have any solutions? Have you thought of what you can do? There's always prayer. And, and we, keep, we keep it in our prayers daily. World peace. Um, but prayer without action. We've got to have some action behind. In the Orthodox liturgy, we pray not only for the peace of the world, but we pray for the President of the United States and for all civil authorities. So somehow we want to place God in the context of our country, not just on the coin. Yeah. We need to put God back in America. Help us do that if you can. God bless you. Look forward to talking with you next week. Medina, Medina, see.